RS, Rennsport. These cars only exist because of the racetrack. Back in 1972, the RS was created as a homologation special, allowing Porsche to race in the FIA Group 4 GT Championships. Due to unprecedented demand, the RS mark continued through 964 RS into 993 RS. Then in 2003, we saw the first of the modern era of RS models, namely the 996 GT3 RS, a car that gave birth to a new line of ultra-focused sport. The story behind this particular car stems from Andreas Preuniger, project manager for GT cars, mocking a sketch using 70s styling onto a modern 996 diagram. This was then presented to the design studio and subsequently the board, who decided that the car would be produced. Thus, the GT3 RS was born. 2007 saw the introduction of 997 GT3 RS Generation 1, and now we see the latest version of the car, 997 GT3 RS Generation 2. As opposed to a road car for the track, this car is the definitive track car for the road. The 911 2.7 RS Touring, the original 911 RS. Launched in 1972, a total of 1,580 cars were built. This car featured the famous ducktail spoiler, larger brakes, revised stiffened suspension, wider rear wheels and rear bumpers. The flat six engine produces 210 brake horsepower, projecting the car from 0 to 62 in 5.5 seconds. At time of launch, this car was the fastest and most focused 911 available. We can see why. The 996 GT3 RS saw the birth of ultra-focused sports cars. This car is lighter due to single mass flywheel due to various component changes, polished cylinder heads to ensure maximum engine compression, lighter alloy hub carriage, perspex rear screen, carbon fibre front boot lid. The published horsepower figures for the car were 381, however, we're reliably informed that through testing every car produced in the dyno, there wasn't one car produced less than 395 brake horsepower. Not to 62 in 4.3 seconds, and onto a top speed of 190 miles per hour. But more than that, this car was known for its poise, for its balance, for its sheer raw aggression. An absolute track car for the road. The 911-997 GT3 RS Generation 2. The first RS model that truly looks forward to the future. Modern styling and indeed modern technology and mechanics. For the first time we see a power increase from GT3 to GT3 RS. The RS now has 450 brake horsepower, projecting the car from 0 to 62 in 4 seconds and onto 192 miles per hour. This car creates 118 brake horsepower per litre. With shorter gear ratios and revised Vario Cam Plus, the acceleration sharper, the car still uses the C4 chassis which not only gives the car a wider track front and rear, but also increases torsional rigidity. The car now features PASM Porsche Active Suspension Management and a version of PSM Porsche Stability Management, which will increase active safety without changing the character of the car dynamically. The car still remains as focused the turn in is razor sharp, power delivery and noise are just phenomenal. 
brakes, absolutely superb. The car now is standard, features dynamic engine mounts, which tries to flatten the drivetrain of the car to improve the connection between engine and body, keeping the car as stable as possible all the way through a car. In total, the car is 25 kilograms lighter than a GT3. It is available without a radio and air conditioning. The mechanically locking rear differential maximises grip on varying surfaces, meaning drive out of a corner is as good as it can be. Even as the car reaches the limit of grip, it's still very precise, easy to control. That's exactly what we tell it. As opposed to being a road car for the track, the new GT3 RS is the definitive track car for the road. For your opportunity to drive at the Porsche Experience Centre, log on to porsche.co.uk forward slash experience. Look out for the next episode of Porsche Experience TV. Thanks for watching.